So, you don't know how to play versus Silawi. You feel like it's impossible to win lane versus her, and you just can't seem to understand how this champion is supposed to be balanced. Don't worry about it. I got you. You're gonna invest half an hour into watching this video, and I promise you'll never have to worry when facing Ilawi again. In fact, you'll be so confident that when the enemy picks Ilawi, you will only feel a rush of dopamine as you recall this lesson and the newly obtained knowledge associated with it. First, I'll shortly explain the theory behind winning versus Ilawi, and then I'll show you how to demolish her in practice. Okay, are we ready to begin? Good. Let's go. The secret to winning versus Ilawi is dodging her abilities. First, we will learn how to dodge Ilawi Q and Tentacles. It's real simple, guys, real simple. Just one single concept that you have to learn. This, this is how you dodge Ilawi Q and Tentacle hits. Ilawi cast her Q, right? Look, this is, this is what goes on in our head right now. This is what, what goes on right here. We draw the hitbox of Ilawi Q, right? And we simply draw a vector perpendicular to this hitbox direction. 90 degree angle, perpendicular. And that is where we will input our movement command. As you can see, we, we, it, it's so simple, guys. Even if you're in the middle of the hitbox, so right here, if you are fast enough to input a perpendicular movement command, you will dodge the ability. And then we have a tentacle hit. The same thing for the tentacle hit. Absolutely the same thing. So what we'll do, we'll draw the tentacle hitbox, which is right here. And then we will draw a perpendicular vector to it. And we will input our movement command right there. Okay, you with me guys? You with me? Look what will happen. Right there. We input the perpendicular movement command and then we dodge the ability. It's as simple as that guys. The next thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to react when Ilawi ease you or ult you. Okay? This is an E or an ultimate from Ilawi. We dash in, we get hit by E, she ults. Do we fight this? No! No, we don't fight this. Instead, we use geometry to our <laughs> advantage. Look guys, it's so simple, it's so simple. What we will do is we will just simply look at this outline right here. This is the uh, test of strength or test of spirit, whatever Elias E is called. At this range, the spirit that has been taken from you will disappear and you will receive the debuff that uh, uh, spawns these uh, tentacles around you, right? But that's what we want to. We want to take the shortest path to this outer radius. And every time Ilo is you or ults you, you just, you just go out. Like, she will be so frustrated because she wants to fight you head on, but you will just yeet out. Look at what happens. I will just run out. Just get out of there. Then we fight, we input some perpendicular movement commands to dodge this. And we get hit by E once again. <laughs> Did you see that instant reaction? The moment we get hit by Ilawi's E, we will not let her have her moment of strength, but instead what we will do is we will walk directly towards the outer radius of her E and exit her ability. We do this every time, guys. We have no business fighting Ilawi when she's at her strongest. Instead, we make the fight favored for us. Look! <laughs> do you see? Every time. Perpendicular movement. Perpendicular movement. It's so simple. We draw the hitbox. Our brain reacts to it, perpendicular vector, issue movement command right there, 90 degree angle, dodged. That's how it works, every time. This is how you win Versilawi. 
Now let's head into the gameplay. Greetings dear viewer, today we are playing in Master Grandmaster Ilo Europe West versus an Ilawi, that's right Ilawi, you've been asking for this matchup for a long time, finally got the Ilawi matchup, let's see if we can dodge the E's or if we should have dodged the game, because that is the classic advice, either you dodge the E or you dodge the game. Let's try for a level 1 cheese uh, in this bush, uh, disclaimer, probably won't work, because at this point, uh, after me and Sending Help have been terrorizing top uh, challenger solo queue for so long with our Ignite Sense, people have started to walk around. And they will no longer work, walk through this bush when they see Sen on the opposing team. That's just how uh, it is sometimes. So what we will try to do instead, we will try to get kind of an aggressive blade positioning here. We're probably gonna miss uh, one CS, but that's okay. We got semi-aggressive blade positioning. Now, I actually would recommend for lower elo to try this cheese, level 1. But for higher elo, at this point, I think it might be more efficient uh, to go into the lane and just get an aggressive blade positioning right off the bat, like somewhere here, for example. Now we will kind of force Ilawi away. That's fine, right? Ooh, close call. Dodge that one. I think we win this. Oh, close, 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 close. Uh, I should not have wasted my flash there, he, she is gonna uh, walk back to lane now. But you can see that you just have to be kind of confident in this matchup. Because if you can dodge the uh, Qs, like I dodged I think two Qs in that one, one, 1v1, then you win it like straight up. But my flash was completely wasted, because uh, Eli already flashed. It was very optimistic of me to try to go for that. Uh, well, that was a bit optimistic as well. <laughs> okay. Can we break this freeze? Uh, really, that hit me. Okay. Now we need to dodge these. <laughs> That's a bit annoying. But, like, I think this is still killable. But it will be really, um, um kind of in to try this. But you know what? We are, we, we, are, we are champions. We fight. We stay in this lane. No recalling, guys. Until the death. Ouch. Look, when you get hit by the E, you immediately E out. This way you minimize the damage and you get a little bit more gold. I, I can't walk and ward this push because I don't have information on if Trundle is here and I don't have flash. No, I missed the cannon! <laughs> Disaster. Do we win this? That's a bit bad for Rexai. But they're still chasing. I, I can't use E here. Yep. I, I have to wait for uh, Trundle E. Like, guys, if you use E there and Trundle E cancels, you're dead, right? So you all you need to do is wait. Uh, okay, I don't know what's happening in bot lane. They're doing some fancy stuff. All you need to do is wait for the Trundle E and then you use E. Because it will cancel it. Okay, this is kind of int. Walk out of the range to minimize damage. Are we really diving? Are we really diving me right now? Uh, is that what we are doing? What was that? Okay, got one. <laughs> one for one. <laughs> we dodged this E right here. <laughs> we dodged it. We dodged it. <laughs> Guys, dodge the E or dodge the game? That's what I've been telling you. Look, we force we force her out of XP range. Look how good this situation is for us. Look how good it is. Look at this. It's beautiful. We recall now. Actually, we kill the cannon and then we recall. Because it's normal wave, enemies have four caster minions. It's gonna stay here. Uh, we go for a fat bramble west right off the bat. 
for some boots, then we engage into the uh, ruby crystal. Oh, surprise karma. That's a free assist for us, then we go back into top lane. Yes. Wave is good for us. Part this. Trandul is doing that. Try to steal it with one Q, never mind. Uh, Elias level 6, she's gonna intercept me on this path, now she walks back. I lose a little bit of experience, that's okay, we're gonna place a control ward, kill the ward that is here. Nice. Uh, now we can fight Ilawi. Look, we, we just dodge the E like this. Oh, never mind, we don't dodge it, okay. Instantly when she ults, we back off. That, all we do, guys. Instantly when she ults, no reason to fight anymore. She will always win that fight. So we just back off. Like, why would you want to fight at the strongest point for your opponent? If she ease you, then you walk out of the E range. That's all we do. Then we kill the things for free gold. Don't let the Presti attack come on you. Nice. Trundle is low. All good. 10 seconds on my E. I still have flash. No problem for me. Well, what we do now is we bait the enemy. We go, we go, we go. Dodge the E. Okay, we didn't dodge it. Karma is here, we back off. Oh, that's actually LeBlanc. She was out of tower range there, by the way. In what world is she out of tower range there? Uh, if I eat... Okay, that water is bad for me. If I eat a little bit faster... Oh, come on! Come on, guys! They're literally 1 HP. Oh, that was so close. At this point, I think it starts getting a little bit too risky to take 1v1s with the Ilawi. However, we do it for content, right? To show you guys how the 1v1s go at this stage. Do it for content. She wasted E. Now we look bot lane because action is happening. How is Zoe doing in mid lane? Zoe is fine, I think. I wasted W because I misclicked, because I'm bad at the game. It's always fine. Rex I died. Uh, probably would have been worth the ult. I kind of want to ult the mid lane. She's constantly looking for E, right? Yeah. She hits it, then what we do, we E out. Just instantly get out of the range. Dodge the... the oh, my bad. I was a bit too fast. With my movement. I actually got hit by two tentacle auto attacks. That's really bad. You sh you can... Like, you can always dodge the tentacle auto attacks. You just move in one line. You move in one line and don't make any dodges. And then you're fine. Uh, should be ult here. He's still fine. He's still fine. We dodge it. Short thread. Mr. Edo. This is a kill. Kill for us. Uh, I could have ulted mid lane. That's my bad. You should be looking uh, at other champions even during combat. But I was uh, really rusty there. I guess I could have ho hotkeyed the mid lane. Yes, Goldfish. Big. Kill it, 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 kill it. Okay, win them. <laughs> now what? I wasn't paying attention. Like, that's really in by me. Like, look, the time I wasted shopping meant our ADC dies. Now, because I didn't see that situation, I can't give you a proper analysis on whether my ult would have saved. Which? We even had Soraka ulti. Oh my goodness. We are actually terrible at the game right now. Like, this is your fault. Like, at this point, when you miss this ultimate as Shen, then you're responsible for losing the game. That, that's all I'm gonna say. Like, uh, if we lose this game, it's my fault. 100%. That's your, your like, mindset when you play Shen. It's 100% my, my fault now. It's no one else's fault. You make one mistake like this, cost you the game. For sure. So now we need to earn, earn the victory once again. Nothing is given for free, guys. Okay. What Ilawi hits you, look, you just E back. Like, how do you guys struggle with this matchup? This is all you do. This is all you need to do. Like, she's getting destroyed here, right? Mm. 
No, come on! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I'm trying my hardest, guys, but the, the goon squad is a bit too much right now. <laughs> oh no, Twitch flash! The goon squad is a little bit too much. Look, look, we kill, we kill, we kill, we kill. We, we do... How much is it? Surprise! And then Q flash, right? You see that? Q flash right there? Instant kill. Not flash Q, guys. That gives enemy chance to react, but Q flash. Uh, okay, LeBlanc is roaming to top lane. Soraka, can you outplay this somehow? I really doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, LeBlanc has Ignite. No, no way to outplay there. You have to identify Shen, like some of these champions, like Twitch and Rek'Sai, for example, are ways of delivering you to the enemy team, right? Because Twitch Stealth combined with Shen Ultimate is such a strong combo. And then you can use Rek'Sai Tunnels or Rek'Sai Ultimate to deliver yourself to the backline if you want to. Uh, in my opinion, I did not get hit by that, by the way. Like that last Q, I don't think I got hit, but uh, apparently my feet were just in range. Because here, uh, league hitboxes are sur like they they are on your feet. Like if you aim at my head, you're not gonna hit me. But if you aim at my feet, you're gonna hit me. That's how league functions. Now we need to dodge this E. Okay, we don't dodge it. Then what do we do, guys? Do we suffer? Yeah, we suffer, but we go out of range. We can't really walk up right now. Because I don't have taunt, so we'll just have to give this tower, then we have to dodge that. 40 on my ultimate. Uh, what we're trying to do at this stage is just farm up for Sunfire Ages. Uh, then we could... Like... Okay, it's kind of debatable whether this is a redemption game. We could go for redemption, but... We already have a lot of healing from Soraka. So there are other options as well, like Abyssal Mask might be good here, might be good. Unfortunately I cannot ult right now, because I do not have my ultimate. We're gonna clear this for free gold. Like it's so much fun to play versus Ilau, you know, because you, you just gain free gold all the time. Plus 5 gold, plus 5 gold. As Shen you're starved for gold anyways, so getting a little bit of extra income always feels nice. Oh, actually, I know what item we're going. I actually know what item we're going. We're going Hullbreaker after Sunfire. Like, how crazy does that sound? We we fight Ilawi in the split push. Now we're gonna have to dodge the E. Okay, it's fine. I need 1000 gold. Uh, it's probably worth to sell Doran's shield for the faster. Power spike here because I have my ultimate. And look, 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 look we, we can look for some a play mid lane. So we sell this right now, go for Sunfire, Control Ward, and then we ping for a play, maybe. Or I'm just gonna head to top lane. We're going for Herald. I don't know, should we contest this? I think we should, we can contest it. We're gonna do an aggressive play with Rek'Sai here. And we play this, pl play this patiently, guys. Play this patiently. Look, 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 look. look. We will, we will use our kit to, uh, yes. And we ignite Ezreal. Ezreal is dead. Ezreal is dead. Ignite kills. Nice. Right there, you don't need to like hurry. You know, you're in no panic situation because the team fight was very controlled for us. And if Twitch, Zoe, Soraka stays alive in the back line, then we win the fight automatically. That we, we just win the fight, there is no question about it. So instead of just aggressively taunting, maybe enemies flash my taunt and kill my backline, we're just gonna chill for a bit, look to see how the fight plays out, and we play it patiently. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really feeling the hull breaker this game though, because we are at a st like, uh, advantage where uh, with Sunfire and Hullbreaker we can actually turn the side lane split, split push around. So I will be going for Hullbreaker. 
Okay, I'm gonna actually help my team here because maybe the opponents overcommit. For example, Karma is kind of going in the back line here. Gonna ward here. M maybe Karma will face check this. It's. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm fine, I'm fine here. My team is not fine though. I can maybe look for a kill onto someone if you stay in this bush. That's a bit. Uh... Oh, wait, it was warded. <laughs> it was warded. <laughs> Secret Agent Shen. <laughs> uh, we we go for this. We go for we we go we go we go. Triple taunt, big. Kind of big. Kill Trundle. Kill Trundle. Focus Trundle. We stole it. It's huge. It's humongous. Absolutely humongous. Absolutely turbo humongous right now. Like, uh, look how my ping just changed the course of this game. Like, because we pinged aggressively on Rek'Sai, we went for this play instead of just recalling and giving up the Drake. Now we get three kills and the Dragon, which puts at, at Infernal Soul Point. And we are in a position where we basically should not be realistically losing the game anymore. One minute my ultimate, how much is Hull Breaker? Uh, it's Fade, right? Yeah, Hull Breaker. It's completed item is 2800, so it's be uh, 2050. Yes. 50 seconds ultimate, let's see. Mid lane should back off, back off, back off, back off. No reason to be here right now, no reason to be here. We should be resetting. I, I, I'm telling you guys, you're not pinging enough in your games. And if you're pinging, then you're wasting it on something boring. Like uh, something stupid, like you're pinging your teammates items or something like this. But you should be aggressively... Like, okay, aggressively is probably the wrong word, because you could take it in the sense that, uh, you know, you're pissing off your team. But, see, see ults, we just walk out. It's as simple as that, guys. We just walk out. We block that. Uh, look, like... like it's okay guys, it's okay, we can just back off. We can just back off. Right, guys, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay guys, it's okay! I've, I've done this before guys, it's okay. We have Ignite, it's fine. Like, you don't need to fight Ilawi head on. Like, you can chill. Like, you can walk out. Let's go for this Rek'Sai. No, this was a wasted ultimate by me, well, I should have just recalled. Yeah, we Baron. That's actually a good call. Good call, Twitch. Uh, we go for Baron. Big. Absolutely huge. Good call, good call. We have Pink for as well. Should be clearing this, realistically. Like, why are we not? Pink for this. Because we have the Sunfire Ages, we can do that. With a Frostfire build, you can't realistically 1v1 allow you at any point uh, after level 11. We're getting close to our Hull Breaker Power Spike. That's pretty, pretty huge. So we're gonna be taking uh, Jungle Farm now because... Uh, Zoe, don't take the Krugs, man. I, I, I want the Krugs. Yes, thank you. We get this Hull Breaker and we can sideline, like, really strong. You, you know why we're buying this item, by the way? Because we're dying right here. No! No, did we? Where did Leblon come from, by the way? Oh, that's my bad. We still get the item though. Mm. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Okay, Twitch. <laughs> uh, uh, was it poison that killed, or was it a ricochet from the clone? I think it was poison, but it would have been cool if it, you know, uh, traveled behind the clone and hit the actual champion. I'm not sure. 10 seconds ultimate. 
But yeah, hull breaker is ridiculously gold efficient. You don't even look at the items passive and it's over 110% gold efficient. I think it's almost 120% gold efficient without the passive. And with the passive, it becomes like 200% gold efficient. Like, how crazy does this item sound for you? Like, you don't even care about the attack damage, but it's just a better tank item in the 1v1 lane. Because it's literally unmatched, unrivaled in gold efficiency by any item in the game, basically. Except uh, Dark Seal, which can become like 300% gold efficient, which is pretty ridiculous. I did not want to ult there. Okay, we, we pentakill this, we pentakill. No, we missed the flashed out. We don't pentakill it. Ah, oh, my bad on the taunt. Get out of there, Rek'Sai. Okay, we are full health. We are going in. Eshel's dead. She, uh, he dies to ignite, it's fine. He dies to ignite. We are still alive. We have Soraka healing us for 10,000. Look, LeBlanc will W in, I will instantly E. Okay, good try, good try, good try. <laughs> We don't have flash, because we used it. Mm, we're getting... Ma oh, I said Infernal Soul point. That was actually a mistake. It was Mountain. Uh, this looks a little bit bad for me. Soraka, come. We win this. <laughs> uh, that was a bit uh, optimistic on my side. Oh, but, uh, okay, yeah. I, I have no excuse for that. I have no excuse. We are, big, we are big right now. We could end on this play. This ultimate was a little bit passive, probably. Could have used it more proactively. I'm gonna eat out of that uh, E-range. We could just f smash face right here. Like, if we just walk up. We need to dodge this E somehow. Okay, we dodged it. Nice. Or maybe it was actually... <laughs> Where did Karma go, by the way? Okay, big. Big Rek'Sai, big. Interruption, technology. Look, we dodged this Illawi. <laughs> okay, she's not using it. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. Massive. So yeah, that is how you beat Ilawi matchup. No problem guys, you're welcome. Welcome for the free Ilaw.